Boys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to rat like a pro in Apex Legends Season 17. That is right. You might be out there wondering, how do I rat? to the master rank or even pred this season like i have here that is the question i'm going to answer here today and what things you can do that actually guarantee success with proven results so let's get into it first thing you're going to do is of course have a ranked account and what you want to do is go into a game now when you get in your game what you want to do is not land on a replicator now the reason why you don't want to land on a replicator is because as soon as you land on it you will get targeted by everyone in the lobby so what you want to do is pretty straightforward you want to go by yourself separate from your team nowhere near your team at all and then not talk to them for the rest of the game but you want to find a spot that is so sneaky off the map that you want to wait for zone one to come in so what you can do is click go solo to start off then what we want to do is look where everyone's going to go and see where everyone's going and find ourselves a sweet spot that we know that nobody's probably going to be at. So we know our teammates are going countdown, so we don't want to go anywhere they are. So we're going to go the opposite direction. That way we know where we go. We're going to go to Overlook. And the reason why we're going to go Overlook or near Overlook is because what we can do with this is then go to a spot with a crafter later. And I'll explain my reasoning why later here. Now that you know you have no teammates nearby you and you know you have a crafter nearby, you want to go post up in a really cheeky spot, okay? So, for example, here, here's a good spot on this uh, POI area near Geyser because we know there's a crafter here. We want to play off that fact. And what we're going to do is we're going to craft here when zone closes, then go to the big mod and craft more. And from there, it's just play by ear and try to get positive. So if you want to hide actually near Geyser, what you got to do is the following. You go up here, you go over to this little area over here. Then what you want to do is take the zip line up. And when you take the zip line up, you then want to go over here to this bin. But instead of getting in the bin, you want to just open it up and stand on top of it. Now, this spot's not guaranteed to get you spotted, but most people don't check here in the first place. Bro, where the fuck are you? What the fuck are you doing? You fucking rat, bro. Oh my god. Now that your teammates are done yelling at you, what you want to do is just chill here for a bit. If you do get discovered, then you just repeat this step. Because once you get into this step, it's not that hard to replicate. Then you want to just chill here for a bit until zone one closes. And if anybody scans you with the uh, thing, then you're kind of screwed. Now, best case scenario, if somebody does hit this and you beacon and this come after you, you run, you blitz. And that's kind of the thing with this kind of strategy. Even though like this is a perfect strategy, you still have to try a little bit. Now, if you do see an enemy team near you, don't panic. Don't panic. This is this is just a normal thing. No one usually looks at this boss anyways. See, the Ash is over here is an idiot. The IQ player of an average Apex player is negative zero. Because how this game works is that no matter what, even if somebody looks at you, as long as you don't move, they won't see you. Because they don't expect you not to move in the first place. So, yeah, this spot's perfect. I'm, I'm not now that your teammates are getting jumped by another squad, what you need to start doing is start going to get the crafting material and extra syringes. Now, you want to at least have six syringes. Now, the reason why you want to have six is because you want to at least have enough to get yourself to craft med kits and make sure you are insurance health. Now, most people usually leave the syringes here because by this point, they already have heals. So you want to just look around, grab a backpack, and find some syringes. Now the best characters of Rat are currently Rafe and Octane. Now the reason why I say Rafe and Octane is because of just their movement and their body speed. Now of course, you don't want to use your actual Octane's ability like you see here. I do not use my stim at all because it actually tips away your health. So you don't want to do that. What we want to do here is go around the area, get as much crafting as we can. Now, if you already have more than six syringes, you can get all the crafting from one POI and go to the next POI after you craft some med kits like you're going to see me do here. Because what you want to do is get all the crafting here, just craft a ton of med kits, and then that way you can actually have six to start. Now keep in mind, if you have six hundred to six magic kits, as long as you're half health, you can pop a med kit and get max health again. So that means you can stay in zone one, two, and three until you get positive. And by then, you're more likely going to have over six the ladder points. Now this time around, I don't actually get that much because actually I don't have many syringes to start off with, but it's the best case scenario to land and just grab a bunch of syringes and find a hiding spot. Now, I would recommend around this time to get at least one gun, so that means you have access to fight people if you necessary. Or kill any other rats. Now, if you do run into another rat, you must kill them. Because you are the superior rat. Do not watch this video unless you're a superior rat. Now, if you know there's a rat spot nearby you, you want to make sure to clear it and kill anyone there. Because even though you don't get kill points this season, you can still kill them. Because why not? You know what I'm saying? You need to have your optimal rat spot. Now that you've had another spot to chill on, what you want to do is hug the corner and chill and see where next zone goes. Now that we know next zone pulls over here or wherever you may go, you either A, stay where you are, or you try to relocate. So for me, since I know I'm really close to zone, I can literally just walk around here 
and find yourself another comfy spot to chill. Now that you find yourself a comfy spot, you just want to chill for the next ring. Now, if you can, if you have a replicate nearby, you will usually want to crouch. So seeing that, that's there, but ring's about to close, about to be ring three, you will die. So you don't want to do that, and you want to be very patient and wait 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your game, and not intervene with any fights unless necessary. So for example, here, there's a team over there. I'm not going to engage. I'm going to let them duke it out. And now with that, we're positive by law. Six spot. And then your teammates may or may not complete with you depending on the situation. Now that you're top seven, you get 60 RP from this, or ladder points. I don't, I don't know why they say RP and ladder, just like same old, same old. Now, what you want to do, if your teammates do come to you, you need to warn them and be at least somewhat considerate that they might get aped. By the way, there's a full team taking a blimp near you, Wraith, so uh, fair warning, I would just pick a spot and chill. Now that they know that, you can hear the blimp team might go after them. And if they do go after them, then uh, that's an awkward taco moment. Now, if you see another rat like this, you need to make sure to kill them. Oh, never mind, he's running. Oh, okay. Now, if the if you do see an enemy rat like we saw right there, if he ever at all comes at you, you pop him. You put a cap in him. You need to silence him. Now that you're top five, what you want to do is be very careful in this next step. What you need to do is move around to the next zone without getting spotted by an enemy squad. Now, depending on the situation, you might be lucky enough to have a teammate who's riding too as well. If that is the case, good for you. If you don't, then that's kind of awkward. Now, if you do get shot at, make sure to sprint. Your butt off. Make the tap strafe. We need to tap strafe. Now, we rep, boys. Now, you might get pressure from the enemy squads, but you don't want to uh, pee out. I can't see the P word because YouTube gets mad. You want to play it smart and just chill. The full squads are left, by the way. Now, make sure to call out your teammates. There's squads near you, so that way they know how to play with you. Now, what you might have to do if you get top three, this is the best possibility. The even better possibility is kill the squad who's nearby you. There's a there's a dog rat next to us on our left. If you see any enemy, oh, that's that is that is a rat, but he has a really good spot. If you do see a rat with a better spot than you, you might have to fight him. What you want to try to do now is, since you're top three, you want to fight one squad because there's no way in hell you're fighting the other squad. If you can at least one v three, one v two, or one v one the other rat, or the full squad, you then get positive two hundred. So this team over here is gonna fight us. So we're gonna take advantage of that attack. Left, left. He's backing up because he's being scared. Yeah, what you want to do, Ray, when you can, we might want to try to create a portal that way. What you want to do is Q as the start, and then wait till you get the 90% mark, because then you get three times the movement speed of your character. Set the portal. Now, if you don't win those fights, and you don't win those fights, you get positive 150. Hey, you got the goal. 150. Yeah, 150, 150, boys. Zero damage. <laughs> yeah, zero damage, perfect 80% speed run. And that's how you play up as a pro rat in Apex Legends. Now, of course, you're just going to repeat this cycle a few more times, and then you'll easily have Masters in Apex Legends.